What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to Ty's Talks, a Q&A series, episode 27. We had some interesting ones in this uh, Q&A, including what are the best type of mocks? What's my favorite Lego theme, which may surprise some of you guys, along with have I ever considered getting a storage unit for my Lego? I think that's a practical question a lot of you guys may think about doing if you have large scale collections. And again, if you have questions for next Ties Talks, just leave them in the comments and we'll get to them in episode 28. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And our first question comes to us from JH, also known as Jonas, and he asks, question, what do you think about the rumor that we might get a $350 castle in late summer this year? Because it got me really excited and I'm already starting to save up. Okay, so I've heard about that rumor as well. That's for the 90th anniversary set, in case you guys are wondering. And it was between Bionicle Castle, Pirates, and Space. I believe I got that right. I'm all for getting a huge castle. We haven't got a big scale castle. I don't think at that size ever. If I'm being perfectly honest, I actually really wanted Adventurers to win just because I don't think they've been given enough love lately and they are one of the best themes that's ever been made. However, I'm still very happy about that. Extremely excited, but let me know what you guys think about the 90th anniversary set being a castle set. I'm excited about it. I think that I'm definitely gonna buy it. I just think that there's maybe other themes that maybe haven't been given enough representation as of late, but still, all in all, who doesn't want a big scale castle? Scott says, Ask Ty. Hey Ty, have you ever felt overwhelmed by the number of sets that you own? Have you ever considered a storage unit for some sets? Thanks. So it's interesting you bring this up. I did have a storage unit in the past, and I have to say it was the worst amount of money I spent ever like you know when you have insurance or you, you know something like that and it's 200 dollars a month well that storage unit was 200 canadian a month roughly which works up to about 150 160 usd it was the worst amount of money i ever spent on anything i hated it coming out of my account every single month so i would admonish anyone who's thinking about getting a storage unit to avoid it at all costs because 200 dollars a month that works out to like 2400 dollars a year which is about I don't know, 1800 USD a year. You can buy a lot of Lego with that. You can do a lot of money with that, or you can do a lot of things with that, I should say. So yes, I have had a storage unit, but I really want to avoid that. If anything, I'd like to maybe rent or own an apartment that has two bedrooms and just have a room dedicated to Lego. But yeah, my advice would be don't go down that road because it ends up being extremely expensive unless you can get a storage unit for a fair price. Alpha Bricks channel says, here's another very important question. In your videos, we get to see you only from the waist up. So show us all your shoes. And because you asked, I will show you guys my shoe collection. I'm actually a big shoe clothes guy. I like watches as well. Uh, yeah, here's my collection. I haven't been really been able to wear a lot of these shoes lately just because of COVID. But since that's starting to sort of slow down, I'm hoping to wear these a lot more often. Anyways, interesting question. I like to collect shoes as well as watches. I guess it really goes with being a Lego collector is you tend to like to collect different things. Karma Brick Creation says, what is your favorite type of mock? Modern, realistic, classic, style, etc. Also, what theme do you think it's best for making mocks? Okay, so I'm gonna surprise you guys probably with my answer. As much as I love Star Wars mocks, and I have made Star Wars mocks in the past, they're not my favorite, simply because, although they're extremely creative with coming up with a certain scene or, or you know, making it accurately to what we see in the movie, they're not as creative as someone who just comes up with something based off purely their imagination. So if it's like a fantasy mock, a castle mock, you know, an adventure mock, something like that, maybe something historical, but your own spin on it, kind of maybe like uh, Tortuga Bay, that I love making that mock because it was based off my imagination, but it was also done in a historical setting. Those are probably my favorite, although I still love Star Wars mocks, Jurassic Park mocks, city mocks. And as far as which theme I think is best for making mocks, I think Star Wars is probably the easiest, just because you can you know, use a vehicle that's been made, or maybe even a custom model that's been made like the Venator, and you can throw it in you know, a large scale space mock, or uh, Maybe you want to do Camino, which is still on the list of mocks I'd like to do. 
it just makes it very easy when you don't have to worry about the vehicles and you just have to make the landscape and buildings, although that is still difficult, but at least you don't have to come up with, you know, the certain vehicles that are flying around. Anyways, great question. Hopefully that answers it. But yeah, all in all, I absolutely love mocks and I hope to do more of them in the future. Vigard asks, what is your favorite movies and series? I personally love Daredevil, Walking Dead, Prison Break, and of course, the Star Wars shows Mando Clone Wars. Okay, so this is a, yeah, this is one that got me thinking. Probably definitely The Mandalorian, Clone Wars, love those, The Bad Batch. Really looking forward to the new Obi-Wan series that's supposed to come out in May. Those are all top notch for me, but then as far as not Star Wars TV shows, I really love The Office, uh, Breaking Bad, really good series as well. And as far as TV series, probably, or not TV series, movie series, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy is fantastic, along with even just the in Indiana Jones, the original Jurassic Parks, you know, the first three, or the uh, Lord of the Rings films, those are also really good. Had to think about it, there's probably more on the list, but those are the ones that come to mind. And if you haven't watched them, I would definitely recommend, uh, yeah, you take a look at them. Mr. Blue says, question, what is your favorite Lego theme and why? So if I'm answering this more cut and dry, I'm just gonna say Star Wars. They've been around for years. They've given us so many good sets. For the most part, they're just top notch. Yeah, there are some that are not too good, like, you know, the first order ATST and certain sets like that. But all in all, very good theme. If I'm answering this a little bit more loosely though, I'm going to go with the Lego system theme. Now Lego system was from the 80s and 90s and it encompassed space, adventures, wild west, castle, pirates, they all fell under Lego system. So it's kind of cheating when I say Lego system, but not really if you get where my take is, just because it did fall all under that big theme basically, even city fell under it. So I'd probably go with Lego system if we're answering it more loosely. However, if we're answering it more cut and dry, it's definitely gonna be Star Wars. And our last question comes to us from Kylo Sam. And he asks, ask Ty, what did you think about the new Batman movie? So unfortunately, I have not seen it yet. It is on my, I do want to see it soon. In fact, we're kind of making arrangements with friends to go and see it. I have recently though seen the new Spider-Man and I have to say that was fantastic. Really well done. Definitely recommend you guys go out and watch it if you haven't already. Just recently made its way out of theaters. I think you can get it on Amazon Prime. But yeah, hope to see it soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully it lives up to the Dark Knight trilogy. I'm not sure if any Batman can, but I have high hopes for it just because it has got a lot of great reviews. And just as a side note, the new Batman sets are also really good looking. I hope to maybe buy a number of them, if not the whole theme. They just really knocked them out of the park. But that pretty well does this uh, Q&A episode. And again, if you have questions for next Ty's Talks, just leave them in the comments and we'll get to them in episode 28. But as always guys, thanks again for watching. And if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future Q&As. We do one of them every single month. And uh, yeah, you guys come up with a lot of great questions and hopefully these are helping you out. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Do appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one.